Andre started having pigeons at the very young age of 10 years old. He started with giant homers which was given to him by his sister-in-law. It turned out that after giving birth, most of the visitors brought pigeons for her to eat for fast recovery and she had too much pigeons left so she gave the pigeons to Andres. At first, he put it in a wooden box and used it as his first loft. In 1963, Andres heard of a racing pigeon fancier in his place named Gani Ching. He hurriedly went to Ching's place and bought his first two pairs of racing pigeons. Though, 30 to 40 pesos was pretty steep for a single bird those days. The anxious Andres still paid for them and was told that those birds were of Amal descent. Wanting to test his birds after the purchase, Andres applied and was granted membership in the only pigeon club those days, and presently the most prestigious club in the Philippines, the Philippine Homing Pigeon Association, PHA. His pigeon acquisition didn't stop there. In 1965 he bought birds from Benito Chua, they were of Van Den Broek and Amal descent which Benito Chua in turn got from Cham Tien Sang. In that same year another purchase was made when Benito Chua and Andre Son headed to the loft of then top flyer Tony D, of De Echo Lumber. Who at that time also had the best collection of Dordan birds purchased direct from the loft of Pierre Dordan through the help of Peter Yap. After looking at the birds, Andres was very impressed and decided to purchase a pair of local born Dordan, a 1963 blue bar cock and a 1964 big pencil hen. The pair bred a blue bar hen with band number 6719667 that placed third in Vigan and first in Laoig which was not only a super racer but turned out to be an even better breeder and whose blood still runs through Andresong's present day racers. In 1974, saw the visit of Gerard Van He and Emil Dennis to the Philippines where they went around for loft visits. Andres was so happy to hear that from all the pigeons of Mr. Gerard Van He, handled he was most impressed with one of his birds, the 321073, which unfortunately was already sold to George C. together with the bird sire and dam. These three birds were sold for 300 US dollars, a very good price at that time. The 321073 and her family did not disappoint Mr. C., for when crossed with his own birds the offspring performed really well, making George C. one of the top flyers of the club from the late 70s till the early 80s when George C. decided to retire from racing. At that time, when Andres had questioned with regards to pigeons he sought the advice of Cham Tian Hui, whom he considers as his teacher and mentor in the pigeon sport. Top flyers then 60s and 70s were Peter Yap, Tony D, and Cham Tian Hui. And in those days they didn't compute the speed sum for all the races, so they didn't have overall bird champion results. They were just competing to be a lap champion. All of that changed in 1977, when they started computing the speed sum of each bird for all the races, and the overall bird champion began. Fortunately, in the South races of 1978, the loft of Andresong was first, fourth and tenth overall. With the first overall coming from a Delbar cross Devrin pairing, and the fourth overall being a nephew of top stock hen 6719667. In that same year, came an invitation for the first ASEAN Federation. Andre Song together with Johnny O and Jimmy D headed for Taipei. It was a real big affair with close to a thousand delegates coming from all over Asia. They voted for Mr. Ryochi Sasakawa as ASEAN Federation president. Luckily, Andres On was voted as one of the ASEAN Federation vice president. Andres had a lot of friends in the club who used to call him different names such as Jimmy Ongegui, the great news writer used to call him Hochiu which means the bearded one. PHA was a pretty small club then. With around 40 to 50 members. Out of those members they voted for 12 directors. Andres was a director from 1976 to 1985 when he was the club's vice president. For the past 20 years Andres has been buying from the Schemecker brothers of Belgium. He started buying from the natural breeding station but after few years of testing their birds, he started acquiring from their main loft of Dr. Noel de Schemecker, son of the living legend Dr. Noel de Schemecker who primarily uses the Habeneth bloodline and also bought the Steer 55 of Jansen Arendonk, the grandfather of the Merks and the Boronik from Wisken Van Riel. Descendants of these birds includes the Nationale, Blaupiet, Corollis, Ace Pigeon of Antwerp, and de Steer 70. Aside from the Tacloban races, like all other fanciers, Andres wanted to try his birds for the longer distances. 
he wanted to know if his breed and bloodline was up to it. So when PHA announced the upcoming Shuriga race in 1987, Andres was excited about it. This was the race he was looking for. As we all know now, he clocked his blue bar hen with band number 643184 at 10.30 am. The second day and won first place in the old bird category. He then named this hen Beyond My Expectation. The sire of the Shuriga old bird winner is Devrin from Dr. Ide, while the dam is a Dordan cross Delbar, with the Dordan descending from the 671967 line. From the late 80s till the early 90s, Andres took a hiatus from the sport, but when news broke out about the 1994 PHA or PAP San Francisco combined race, Andres made a comeback. He wanted to know if his once formidable long distance birds were up to the challenge. On the second day of the race, a little past noon, he clocked his grizzle cock with band number 8051894 to find out later that he won the first San Francisco combined race. The winning bird was later named Force to Win. The sire of this cock was a great grandson of Destier of 70 from De Schemecker Brothers. While the dam is from a Shuriga 643184 line. Another long distance conquest for Andres was in the 2000 Lillowan race. He clocked 9536699 blue check hen at a little past 2 pm on the second day. Due to the shortening of the cutoff time, this hen didn't get her due credit, although she was the only bird clocked in the second day. She was named Putak. The sire of Putak are both from the Schemaker bloodlines coming from the lines of Blaupete, Favorite, De Steer and Nationale, 100% De Schemaker brothers. For more videos, hit like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.